Hey, welcome to Mama Mandala. I'm Hagar. So glad you're here. Glad to have this moment with you. Happy New Year if this is catching you in the beginning of this new year. And if not, I always look at life. I love New Year's. I love um, new seasons. I love these moments of thresholds because they give us an opportunity to renew our commitment to pour uh, meaning and create value yet again. So every moment in life can be a new beginning, can be a new year, can be a doorway that we walk through into the next phase. And sometimes we're facing uh, these moments, these crossroads, and it's a scary thing, and it's a frustrating thing, and it's an ending we didn't wish for, and it's a beginning of something that is quite challenging. And when we bring ourselves into, this is why I think New Year is often a, a really great thing because collectively we all decide it's a new beginning, right? We all just kind of sign, <laughs> sign up and decide that this is a new beginning. It becomes an opportunity to bring ourselves in a new way to something that's already going on, right? Because life is a continuum. It's not like, oh, this new year, um, this is a totally fresh blank page. Let's face it, we're all adults here, right? We know better. We're mature enough to know that this new beginning is not just um, a totally blank page, but it holds in it the richness of what has come before. And because of what was before, because of the mistakes we made and the failures we've experienced, because of the success and the, and the um, beautiful moments that we have, that we have had, we are where we are now. So life is always this woven together tapestry of, of what was before and where we are now, now and what will happen next. This is why being present is so valuable and important, but being here now isn't the only thing to consider because what happened before and what's gonna happen next are actually still important. So there's a certain kind of um, value that we can bring to our lives when we bring it all together and keep weaving together the lessons of the past, the, the breath of the moment, right? Because in the moment we can regulate our nervous system. In the moment we can drop in deeply um, into a re, um, reorganization of something or a commitment yet again to something that is important to us. And it's, a, it's also a weaving together of what will come next. We sow seeds for the future. And so whether we, whether we come into a new year with an intention or not, you know, there's, there's value in it. it also sometimes, um, sometimes some of us um, tend to come into goals and intentions in a way that then limits us because when we, I'm gonna put it in quotes, right? when we fail, when we fall off, we tend to just give up on ourselves when really an intention is a, gather, is a gathering uh, force because it can pull us back into the remembrance of what's important to us and what we're committed to. And it becomes yet a new beginning. Every time we, every time we fall, again, I'll put it in quotes, fall off the train that we, um, <laughs> that we set ourselves on, it's an opportunity to pause, look, look at where we are. Maybe there's something valuable in the space we're in, in the place we're in, <laughs> in the station we, we, um, we got off or in the, in the wild landscape that, that's around us if we fell off, right? And then we can gather ourselves we can gather the information, we can gather the experience, and the gathering, the bringing it together, the bringing together of what happened before, where we are now, and where we wanna go, 
can become then a this a, just a powerful anchor and an opportunity to roll further to move it's stabilizing and also in a way liberating because we keep moving right it's where what the direction is and we can change directions right and the gathering becomes becomes this powerful tool in these powerful moments in life that are every day every day right so an intention can be something that we keep coming back to not because we're failures because we fell off and we forgot and it, and maybe it's june and you're like oh yeah i set that intention on new year's eve and pff, where where is that i lost it on january 3rd but rather it's we keep it's something to keep coming back to and to check ourselves so there's a um a word in sanskrit for intention and it it's also a mudra and it's sankalpa the mudra is like this you you can come into it in this way i learned this from sienna sherman but you can come into it by bringing i'm not marrying you by bringing your left hand through your heart and dropping it on your right thigh and then bringing your right hand and placing it on your left hand and gently clasping it's not a strong clasp it's just a gentle clasp and you um, let it rest there you can also just forget about bringing it through your heart and just drop it drop your left hand palm facing up on your right thigh and place your right hand on top of your left and gently hold the hands there and you can allow your eyes to soften you don't have to close them right away you can take your time with it sometimes i like to let it happen slowly so sun in sanskrit is to unite and some sometimes it's sun sometimes it's some some kalpa some kalpa some is a uh, translates sometimes as completely or perfectly um it's a, it's the root of sameness some sama same evenness when your eyes went close you can let them so it's to bring into completion to unite to bring together to gather if you will allow your breath to soften as you turn your attention to it and the word kalpa in sanskrit is translate translates as um mental constructs or feelings breathe softly sometimes kalpa translates as ideas breathe a little slower now and receive your inhalation as you receive yourself right where you are which includes where you come from and where you're going and gather your thoughts your attention gather the movement of your mind not to control it but to create a relationship with it to set yourself situate yourself as a as a partner in the process of thinking feeling viewing contemplating breathe slowly and so with the exhalations we can allow ourselves to arrive more deeply in the space and to bring 
and intention to life is first and foremost to feel where we are. So breathe with the awareness of the space you're in, the feelings you have, the kind of thoughts you're having. And you're, by doing that, by bringing your awareness to it, you arrive in it, you interact with it. You gather it, and that gives you power, it gives you strength. You're not ruled by it, but you are in relationship with it. Breathe slowly. Maybe you have a very clear intention that you're working with, but maybe you want to ask yourself, what is really important to me? What do I care deeply about and want to make this moment the birthplace or the conception space of this thread that I want to weave into my actions, my speech, my relationships, my work. And so breathe this tender, thread of care as you allow the breath to flow into your lungs. And allow the breath to flow back out. And see your breath as a weaving force. And so when you breathe in, with this care, with this thread of care, you bring in the environment, your life, the previous year, <laughs> your baggage, if you will, the lessons, the treasures, the conversations, those that were cherished and deeply satisfying and pleasurable and those that maybe challenged us and created an opening for transformation. And so with the care we create deeper intimacy with a wider, a more broad picture of ourselves. One that is not just a picture, but a living, breathing, creative force. So breathe and breathe not only into your lungs but into your hands the gathering of ideas and thoughts mental constructs feelings and vision that you have for yourself for your life And as you breathe that in, and you breathe what you care about as the thread that weaves the breath in and out, as the thread that brings you the world and breathes you back into the world, you can even check then if 
your intention, what you care about, what you want to see more and feel more and create more. Is it taking care of you? Is it something that is nourishing and helpful for you? Breathe. And as you breathe and hold it in the space between your hands, is this also nourishing, valuable, meaningful, somewhat helpful, supportive of more than you? Does your intention have an anchor in the in the heart, in your life, in your relationships, in your environment. Is it connected to different parts of you and the world? Keep breathing. How can you weave this thing that you care about that's meaningful for you, that you want to feel and experience and make more of? How can you weave that into a complex and intricate fabric of reality? that creates the version of you that you are becoming. And creates the world that you are a part of. And it doesn't need to be huge. And it doesn't need to be ambitious. It can be, but it doesn't have to be. It can be a gentle, soft, and meaningful, precious little jewel. that you carry with you into your conversations with yourself and with others. Hold it in your hands as your hands become that with which you create the world, your organ of action. Hold in this sacred space the remembrance that how you bring yourself, let that intention be how you show up. Because how we show up becomes how we're being received. What we focus on becomes who we are becoming. And so give yourself in that space between your hands where that mudra is held, where the intention is held within the mudra. The empowering invitation to show up to yourself and to your life. 
as, as who and as how you want to be received. Knowing that we're not in control of how somebody else receives us and yet we are empowered to receive ourselves in the wholeness of who we are, including the holes in who we are. And including and perhaps bringing to the forefront how we want to be, who we want to be. And keep broadening and bringing that into the relationships with environment, with people, with plants and animals and world events. Let it be small, let it be big, let it be real. Keep breathing. And then bring Sankalpa Mudra, bring this mudra with your hands like that together from your thigh into the space in front of your heart and turn it into Anjali as the hands join together in Anjali Mudra. And the mudra, the gesture of the heart's deepest offering as we turn our intention, our wish, our determination, our resolution, as we turn the gathering of our ideas and concepts and constructs, our feelings, our visions, as we gather the past, the present and the future, turn that into an offering, into the depth of your heart so that offering becomes something you place on the altar of your life as it becomes the thread that weaves together who you are becoming through how you bring yourself to the world. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was meaningful for you. It was for me, so really thank you for joining me. And if it was meaningful, share it with your loved ones. Subscribe to this channel and head over to mamamandala.com. I'll leave a, I'll leave a link, leave a link in the description of the video so that you can subscribe to our mailing list for in-depth, meaningful interaction and contemplation and conversation. Okay, Happy New Year. Namaste.